is WooCommerce doomed? Well, if I'm honest, I don't think so because WooCommerce has a so massive ecosystem right now, but we do have an alternative that is more and more mature over time, which is called Shortcut. And in today's video, I want to show you a quick walkthrough of all the features, including the latest feature that concerns physical products. And if you want to use an alternative to WooCommerce to launch an e-commerce website on WordPress with physical products. Well, I think you have access here to what I would call a golden nugget. Let me show you in this video everything you can do with Shortcut, the free version. And if you want to start from scratch an e-commerce website in 2024, maybe by the end of the video, you would want to use Shortcut instead of WooCommerce. Let's see everything we have for physical products. So first things first, you need to install Shortcut, the free version. You will need at the same time to create a free account on Shortcut.com because it's connected and we have all the your, your product, the inventory and everything will be stored in your Shortcut account. It's completely free. So activate the plugin and then let's jump into the onboarding wither and you click on get started. So create a new store and you can give it a brand color and a default currency. So I'm used to work with euros, but I'm going to do my best here to work with dollars. So I let the blue and I click on continue. From here, we're going to have a, a demo website straight away of how your website can look like with a bunch of physical products. So uh, I'm going to do that for this tutorial, but you shouldn't do that if it's a real website you're working on. It's not really, I don't see the point. So just uh, watch me doing it and don't do it yourself or you can do it but on a demo website so i'm gonna work with beauty products so i select beauty products and then click on continue you can just confirm your email here click on continue again setting up your store and boom we're done so now we're gonna see the result of the shop page so this is a shop page um, by default within shortcut so you have some customization features for instance, the size can be squared, doesn't have to be portrait. And obviously right now the e-commerce looks great just because you have nice image also. So uh, the, the list, the grid view is really nice, is really neat, but you really need to have nice uh, image, nice pictures when you work on an e-commerce website. 80% of the job, the visual attractiveness of your website, it's done by images, product image. So it's really important. So here you have really good product images. And if you want to have some tips and advices to get good product images with AI, because now nowadays we have tools that are really amazing. If you want to go uh, further, if you don't have everything at home to do this kind of image for your products, but you still want to have the same professionalism into your images, just let me know into the comment section and I will do my best to produce more tutorials. So this is a default shop page. Now we can click on any of the products and you have the product pages. So obviously you can change the color. It doesn't have to be this amazing green we have here. If I jump on another theme instead of the default theme for WordPress, I can install Astra and it's going to be a lot better. Now I refresh the page and this is a lot better. So this is a default product page we have within Shortcut. They are working right now on customization uh, so that you are able to go further, especially on the full site editing part of WordPress, but also to have more, uh, to have compatibility with, you know, advanced custom fields, to have more freedom, to have more everything. So this is coming in 2024, but you have a, a title, you have a product description, uh, uh, the price, the sale tag, your images, you can have more images and you have two buttons by default. You have the add to cart button and also the buy now button, which is a really good news. So I can just show you the flow. If you are a customer, I click on add to cart first. We're gonna have a cart popping up like this and you can click on checkout and you're going to be in the checkout page which, which reminds us uh, Shopify to me at least. And it's a really, really neat also here. It's really beautiful. I like it a lot. I think it's a lot better by default than what we have in WooCommerce. Now, if we go into products, uh, so products here, I can click on any uh, of these products. I just want to show you the latest features in Shortcut for physical products, especially. So this is something you already know if you are familiar to Shortcut. So you can put a name for your product, a description, uh, all the images are 
put here, uh, you have the pricing. And I just want to show you that Shortcut is very generous for the pricing part because you can have one-time payment, you can have fractional payment, installment, monthly installment, you can have subscriptions, you can have a setup fee if you want to have free trial or uh, if you want to uh, put do uh, some name your own price on your website so that your customers are able to pay whatever they want. Uh, you have all these features available here for free. Then we can see here we have physical products selected. You can put some shipping weight. You also have now inventory so you can track quantity. So if you want to uh, put your inventory here, uh, you can put how many items you have from this product. Uh, do you want to be able to sell out of stock? And also the SKU here. So. Just below we have the variant, which is like variable products we have in WooCommerce. So uh, let me show you, you can add an attribute. Uh, let's say it's a color and then you put values. So it can be black, can be white, uh, like, like for a t-shirt, you know. Um, you can put size, uh, any, any kind of attributes you want. Then you can click on just done and you have all the variants with their values uh, here you can add more, just click, just click on add more options or you can add a variant manually on by clicking on add variant. Below you have the variants and you can put prices if you want to have different prices than up here and also images and SKU. Below we have integration but it's less related to physical products. Download, just so you know, you can put some external links or a secure storage would be just uh, on your website. Licensing, which is not related to physical products. And then you have basic SEO features. So if you want to put some meta title and meta descriptions, you don't need any SEO plugin. You can just do that within Shortcut. If I scroll up, we have collections here. So these are categories. So if you want to have different categories, t-shirt, pants, everything for a shop. Um, for clothes, so you have collections. Collection is how they name it in Shopify as well. So it's different from WooCommerce. In WooCommerce, it would be categories. So I can add a collection. Um, so I just want to stick with my uh, instance of a, of a clothes shop, garments, uh, t-shirt, add new, create, and then I have a collection. And you can find all the collection within the menu collections just here. In the free version, you also have order bumps. So if you want to do some form of cross sell on your checkout page, you can uh, display some special offer with a discount usually. And you just need to check the one box and then you add a product to the cart for your customers. So this is a really great way to work on your average order value. So let's add an order bum together very quickly. Then I go pick some price, which means that I go pick some products, but you know, it works with prices within Shortcut. So because you can have several prices for one product, you need to select one way of pricing the product. Uh, this is why we select a price, but of course we are selecting a product, um, so to speak. So I select uh, just one, one of them, I click on create. And then you have the name, the price of the order bump, the display condition, the discount. So the display condition, you can select a price or a product. When you select a product, it means that it can apply to every prices you have within the product. And then I can pick some random product just to show you at condition. Good. And then what kind of discount do you want to, to offer to promote? So it would be 50%, leave this uh, checkbox check uh, auto apply discount um, you can put a description I'm gonna put some lorem ipsum here and a call to action yes I want it okay I can save it and now let's see together the result so I'm gonna add this product to my cart or I can just click on buy now to go straight to the checkout page and I'm gonna have my order bump displaying right here so this is really, really an elegant way to, to do cross-sell on your website. And um, this is within the free version of Shortcut. Now we have several ways to display a cart on your e-commerce website. So you have the floating cart and you have the regular cart you can have into your header like you see in on most websites. So let me show you, you can also do both. So here you have the floating cart, which was the first way of displaying a cart within Shortcut and they added 
the regular card you can put on the header and you can have both at the same time so the floating card which is really nice and then you can go in design and branding into the settings of shortcut and you have the cart part so you can disable a cart if you don't want to have cart feature on your website so it would mean that you want to use shortcut for uh, funnel building so you have two different icons and then you have a card icon type and you have the floating one the menu one or both so if we just uh, check together the menu icon you have to select what menu so I only have one on this website which is called menu I select it the position right left so would be right and always show cart so sometimes you don't want a cart to be displayed if there are no product in the cart so if you want to do that you should uncheck this box I click on save I refresh and we're gonna have a brand new cart here and the result is pretty much the same with the slide out cart from the right so very nice and then you can do both so if I select both here and I click on save you will also have a floating cart okay really nice now let's see how it goes uh, once we order a product on your e-commerce website so for that we need to install some processors to be able to take payments so you can either use PayPal, Stripe or Molly in Europe uh, in this video I'm just gonna stick with a very simple process so payments are gonna collect it just when the pickup occur so I'm going to go into the payment processors and down below Stripe, PayPal and everything you have manual payment method and I click on add new and you can say for instance cash on delivery some lorem ipsum everywhere I click on create now I can go uh, buy some stuff on my website so let's go on the shop page and I already have something in my cart so that's enough for me I go to checkout and I'm gonna buy this hair mask restorative sorry I'm gonna put some <laughs> address in France because I'm just completely used to put some addresses in France when I do demo tutorials I wouldn't even know how to put a fake uh, address from United States I click on Porsches and okay so we're gonna have a pop-up so you can display the thank you page uh, in several ways in shortcuts so you can have a pop-up just like this or you can have a real thank you page if you want you can also have several thank you pages depending on what funnel we are in so you have a lot of freedom within shortcut but this pop-up is pretty pretty nice and it can be good enough for most of you guys because when we click on continue we go straight into the dashboard for the customer and from here you can download the receipt the invoice check the order history everything so this is a dashboard from shortcut by the way and this is what you get from from scratch without doing anything uh, so it's really really neat here as well uh, works better in english than in french <laughs> but then you can just click on back home and you can come back to the dashboard back home so you see it's just a regular wordpress page but it doesn't feel like wordpress at all right but it's just a normal you don't we don't have any header footer and it's just a, a really nice design uh, dashboard for your for your customers so now we can see uh, how it looks like in the orders menu so we have a, a new order that we're gonna fulfill together you have the section here with the unfulfilled part so you can click on fulfill item and you have the ability to put some tracking number as well as tracking a link so this part was really important for physical products and e-commerce in general this is why I wanted to show you this uh, feature in particular so you can have as many tracking numbers as you want okay then you leave this uh, toggle on of course notify customers of shipment to send email to your customer and then you click on fulfill item and you're done you just fulfilled your order so uh, the emails are being sent uh, the tracking number is sent if you have one and this is how shortcut works in a nutshell for physical products if you want to use it uh, tomorrow to build a brand new e-commerce website instead of WooCommerce so obviously we don't have as many features and as WooCommerce right now for obvious reasons uh, WooCommerce is it's years and years in the making compared to shortcut shortcut is not even two years right now it's a little less than two years I think it's a year and a half so we do have some features missing 
that are very important uh, in my opinion and the first one is reviews because i think if you really want to use shortcut right now to build a, an e-commerce for your uh, physical products you really want to have a uh, reviews on your product pages this would be the biggest feature missing for me right now for shortcut and if we have reviews I think we have a full featured solution for physical products. So there are more to come. I know they need to prioritize the features. So they are working on upsell, downsell pages, everything related to, you know, uh, one click upsells. They are working on an affiliate program. So it's already available in the pro version of a shortcut. You can have affiliates if you want for your e-commerce. So they are working on more, uh, I think, attractive features for people because they try to sell shortcut, obviously. So sometimes um, you need to have star features that are really useful, really important for marketing, for their power users. But I think at the, at the very basics of what we need for e-commerce, reviews should be at the top of the list, uh, in my opinion. But I hope we will have something related to reviews, some features next year in 2024 uh, within the first months or the first quarter. What do you think? Let me know into the comment section. I would use shortcut now for some projects, not all of them, because obviously there are some features missing and you cannot do everything you can do with WooCommerce. But I'm curious about what you think. So let me know into the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss uh, future videos. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.